the imaginary friend. Hey guys, it's Etta. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you the top five reasons on why you should attend the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. First off, I go to the school so there's my credibility, okay? Me showing you I have a sweatshirt does not prove that I go there. But I do. If you've seen any of my vlogs, you know that. I'm a junior or third year at the University of Minnesota. I am in the Special Education ABS licensure track. That means nothing to most of you. But if you have any questions about special education or the College of Education and Human Development at the U, comment down below, hit me up. We can talk all day about it. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're gonna to talk about the five reasons why you should come join me at the U. So, number one, the location. So, first things first, there are three campuses involved like within the campus, like University of Minnesota Twin Cities. There's three like campuses, like areas. There's East Bank, West Bank, and St. Paul campus. So they're all, all part of the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. And I hope this doesn't get too confusing for you, but depending on your major, um, that can like affect where your classes are. So like for example, the college, like Carlson or like the School of Business is on West Bank. Um, I think like CFANS is on St. Paul and then like CLA and CHG most classes are uh, on the East Bank campus is like the main campus it's attached to like Dinky Town which is like where all the restaurants and fun stuff is anyway the bus there's a bus like a there's shuttles and campus connectors is what they're called that will take you to every single um, bank or campus or whatever and they're all really close together so you can you can walk to West Bank, you can walk to East Bank. St. Paul, I don't know that you like could walk to, but you should just take the bus. Um, but it's super easy to get to, and yeah, but that's just how big the school is. There's a bunch of different places for buildings, because East Bank can't hold everything. But that is the main like bank if you're like going onto campus, you're on East Bank. Um, so that is really cool and that's like there's like a different vibe on every like bank and people have a favorite and I personally spend all my time at East Bank but I also love St. Paul um, campus so I don't know that's that um, other things location wise you can take the light rail literally anywhere like you can take it downtown you can take it to US Bank you can take it to the Twin Stadium you can take it to Mall of America um, it's a bit of a longer ride. It's like 45 minutes on the light rail, but you can do it. I used to do it all the time. Literally anywhere. Like, I don't know, downtown. Like, you can get like into downtown. Um, you can, yeah. There's also city buses that can take you everywhere, anywhere, and everywhere. Um, so, like, locationally, you aren't in the city, but you, like, can get to the city so fast. You can walk to, um... I don't know what the technical name for it is, but like Stone Arch Bridge and then like Mill City area and then Guthrie and there's theaters and it's like you're not, you don't feel like you're like in the city, but you can like see the skyline and get there so easily if you wanted to. Um, with that, there's also so many places to eat, like I'm sure every college campus has. Dinky Town is where a lot of apartments are um, on East Bank wise and there's tons of restaurants. Um, Al's is really good if you're like touring to go to Al's, but it's cash only, so bring cash. But they have like the best breakfast food. So just Tony's Diner though. Tony's is underrated. I love Tony's. Um, yeah, so there's tons of places to eat. Um, there's like a little Target Express. Um, and then Stadium Village is where like a lot of the dorms are like right off of Stadium Village. And that has a bunch of other restaurants. You're like main ones like Chipotle, Noodles, Punch Pizza. Um, some of the bars are over there and then like Walgreens and the CVS is like on the next corner. So you can get to anything that you would need super, super easily. Um, so that is really nice. Uh, is that all I wanna say for location? It's beautiful. <laughs> Minnesota has all four seasons. Just bring a coat and a hat and mittens and you were literally fine. It gets cold, but like, wouldn't you rather be cold and like, see the leaves change and like experience four seasons because I would but I guess if you like really hate being cold then maybe don't think about coming here but otherwise just like put a coat on people like don't need to freak out about it anyway, anyway 
Um, the second thing is the size. So the U of M is relatively large. I believe we have about 30,000 undergrad. I'm gonna put the correct numbers on the screen. 30,000 undergrad, 50,000 like total with like grad students and all that. Um, and that you're probably like, that is a large number. And I would answer, okay, so it seems really big, but it really is like however big you wanna make it. So like, if you're just leaving your dorm every day, going to class, and then like going back to your apartment, campus is gonna seem really small because you're not really like meeting that many people. But if you like join clubs and you know, go out and like go to frats or like join a sorority or join Greek life in general or like, I don't know, like, like meet the people in your dorm, then the campus is gonna start feeling like bigger but also smaller because you know more people. Um, but it's really like whatever you wanna make it, however many people you wanna surround yourself with. But also when you're on campus, especially because there are like three campuses, it doesn't even feel like it's that big. Like you, the, it's not crowded. There's not like a ton of people like you might think with that many like people um, going or like being enrolled in the school. Um, it's really, it doesn't feel that big. Like there's not like a ton of people all around always. Number three, this kind of goes with like location a little bit, but it's, there's so many things to do on campus, off campus, in Minneapolis, in St. Paul, in neighboring towns, there's always something going on. Um, I'm just gonna give a couple examples of like things that I would do with my friends. So things that you can do, you can go to Stone Arch, you can go see a show at the Guthrie. You can literally just walk over there, go to Izzy's, get ice cream. Okay, that's fun. Um, you can go to Gay 90s downtown, that is 18 plus on some nights you'd have to like look into that, um, but that's super fun if you want like kind of like a club, bar, party-ish scene that's like indoors, um, that sometimes sometimes is 18 plus because like usually when you start college you're not 21, so if you want like that experience, that's super fun, but then on top of that there's a bunch of bars like on campus, not a bunch, there's a couple bars on campus and then a couple that you can get to super quickly by taking the light rail um, or Ubering or whatever you want to do to get there. Um, so you can do that. There's a movie theater called St. Anthony, Maine. It's a super like old, cute like theater that you can see movies in and it's like super cheap. I think Tuesdays it's like $5 and students are like always six fifty or something like that. Um, so if you want to see like a movie, you can do that. Our student center, uh, Kaufman Memorial Union, plays movies like almost every Friday and Saturday for free, so you can go there and do that if you want. Varsity Theater is right in Dinky Town, like right technically off campus, but like a block away. Um, is a theater that a lot of artists come to um, to perform, like kind of more like small scale general admission type stuff. But you can get to the Armory downtown, you can get to XL, US Bank, Target Center. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do in Minneapolis. You can go to the stone, stone, I already said that. You can go to the sculpture garden. There's a ton of museums. You can go to the Wiseman that's on campus. You can go to Minneapolis Institute of Art. You can get there, they can go to the Walker. There's a ton of stuff to do. There's always things to do. And then like on top of that, people have like house parties, apartment parties. Um, you can go to a frat if you so desire. Number four is sports. Now here's the thing, I'm not a big sports person. And so if you're sitting there like, I don't care about sports, that has nothing to do with where I'm going to college. That's fine, I think kind of the same way. But I will say getting to go to like a football game for a Big Ten school, which the University of Minnesota Twin Cities is, is like unmatched. Like that experience of like standing in the student section, like dressing up, like in your spirit wear or whatever, standing in the student section and like cheering your, like your school's team on is super fun and super cool. And this year in particular, the U is doing really good like football wise. Um, we're playing Madison tomorrow. I don't know, this video is not going up for a while, but depending on how we do, I guess I'll wait. Let me wait to edit this and I'll be like, did we win? Oh God, fingers crossed. Okay. Uh, editing me, coming in here really quick to let you know that uh, in case you didn't know already, we lost. Um, but you know, we're still out here, uh, row the boat, Skyma, 
Go Gophers. Anyway, it's super fun though to cheer on a team and the U has some great teams. We have a really good women's volleyball team. I just at the men's basketball game today and that was like my first time going to one of their basketball games and it was so fun. The energy was unmatched. Like it was so cool and fun. Um, I've been to like men's gymnastics meets. That's super cool to watch. Like, I don't know if you ever watch a gymnastics meet, but it's like, there's so many things happening, but it's so cool. Um, we have, I already said volleyball, hockey. Like there's so many things that you can like go and watch and a lot of them are free to get into or like student tickets are like 10 bucks. And so if you ever are like looking for something to do on like a Friday, you can be like, oh, is the women's volleyball team playing? And then like go to a volleyball game with your friends. Um, so that's super fun and the U has some amazing teams. So that is definitely a reason to come to a school that is so spirited and loves their team so much. Um, it's really something cool and fun to be a part of. And then number five, I couldn't not address this, is the academics and overall achievements of the university. Take some time, look into, depending on what your major is, I'm sure the U has something um, for you, but especially if you don't know what you want to major in, literally just like look through the list of majors and minors that the school has because it is literally unreal. Um, it's a really well-known school. It's ranked like really high in like the top schools in the nation. I think it's like 70th, which you might not think is that high, but like think about how many colleges there are. Okay. There's a lot of colleges. Um, and if you like say University of Minnesota, Twin Cities, like almost everyone is gonna know, like especially adults, like is gonna know the school you're talking about. It's really well known for its academics and its programs and engineering and nursing and education and like so many things, journalism, like architecture, I don't even know. There's so many things that it's so well known for and it has some of the most amazing professors and programs that you could be a part of. And so why not be a part of it? If you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. I will go through and respond to anything. Or if you want to DM me on Instagram, my Instagram's linked down below. Um, if you have any questions about applying or the school or programs, or like I said earlier, special education is the program that I'm in, in the College of Education. If you have any questions about that or the requirements, um, I would be happy to answer any questions. Um, but obviously, if you're deciding on a college, I am biased towards picking the University of Minnesota, and I hope you do too, but also I encourage you to continue your studies wherever they take you, and I'm sure there's a college out there for you. If the U isn't the one, that's okay. Um, there are so many incredible universities that will provide you with whatever it is that you want to do with the rest of your life, which is scary to think about. But, you know, if you're taking the next step to get there, that's all you can do at this point. That's what I keep telling myself. You know, I'm eventually gonna get there. Like, I'm on my way to figuring it out. Anyway, me having a, like, midlife crisis at 20 in the middle of this video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful or entertaining or, I don't know. I just hope it was, hope it was. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe because why not, why wouldn't you? And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.